450 square feet, 550 square feet, or 750 square feet. Which is the best investment? Friends, as GLC Captain, Toronto agent, real estate agent, mortgage broker, research realty, search mortgage. Today we're going to explore which is the best investment to buy. 450 square feet condo, 550 square feet condo, or 750 square feet condo. I'm using the condo calculator.ca. Uh, right here, condocalculator.ca. You can come here. It's a free service. I just launched. Watch the video. You can download. Just put your name and email. You get a link to the spreadsheet, which is right here. Uh, before we start with introduction, Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Real Estate, AJ, mortgage broker, focusing on condo investments, homes, land, and so on and so forth. C Toronto, GTA, all the way up to Hamilton. Okay, this is my Twitter, twitter.com. So Yossi Kaplan, come here for a lot of information. I don't have to post my blogs. It just comes in here. It's very easy. Uh, YouTube.com slash Jesse Kaplan is my channel. You find a lot of videos about new construction, about investing, about the state of the economy. Everything you need to know, at least <laughs> my uh, view of what you should do with these things. Okay, great. Um, gallery I launched uh, recently in September, and now you can see the price that I launched at. Now the price are up a little bit. They're about a thousand a foot now. Uh, for the, the regular unit and 11 maybe for the premium unit. So the price went up just a little bit. It's also uh, two is slightly nicer building, like slightly better location. Uh, so, you know, they released a lower product first and then the better and better. And the question is, a lot of people ask me, should we buy a small unit, a medium-sized unit, or a larger unit? Should we buy one or two or three bedrooms? So we covered that bedroom. Uh, should you buy one or two or three bedrooms here in this video here? But we haven't covered really um, if you should buy a small, a medium, or a larger condo. So let's do it now, okay? So when you go to the condocalculator.ca, you'll be emailed this file. The system will email you the file. It's automatic. It happens right away. And you can then put it on your um, Google Sheets, on your Apple Numbers, I think it's called, and Windows uh, Excel, or any of these programs. So we have uh, three columns here, three, uh, three condos. So we're going to compare. So the first one, it's got a one bedroom, and let's put a 450 square... 450 square feet, and let's say we're paying a thousand bucks a foot just to make everything even. So 450, one, two, three, and the system, the green tells you a thousand. Okay, the next one will be 550, and the price will be 550,000. So a thousand bucks a foot as well. And here, let's put 750, 750 square feet, and a price of 750,000. Okay, great. So now I got. Uh, three condos. Uh, this has a one bedroom and 450 square feet. This is two bedroom and 550 square feet. It's three bedroom and 750 square feet. So that's that's typical for today. They're very very small. They're very very tight. But that's what you got to do to make the numbers work. But let's see if they actually work. So we set them all at thousand dollar a foot. That means that our deposits will be 90,000. That's 20 percent deposit. 90,000 for the first one. 110,000 for the second and 150,000 for the third. So, you know, there's quite a bit of difference here. There's 60,000 difference between the first and the last. Uh, now, I'm assuming four deposits of 5%. The first one may be split into 5,000 and then the rest, the 5% less than 5,000. And these are the deposit numbers you're getting 22,5 for the first one, 27,5 for the second times four, of course, and 37,5 for the third option. And that gives you the 90,000, 110, and 150, like you saw here. So the mortgage you're going to need is 360,000 for the small one, 450, 440 for the two bedroom, and 600,000, full 600,000 dollars for the three bedroom. Okay. Now, what are going to be our monthly expenses? I'm just running through this. Uh, if you want more information, like deeper information, how to use a calculator, um, just go to my video uh, uh, YouTube and look at the condo calculator, and it shows you in detail. Also, um, I repeat it here: one, two, three bedrooms. That's a similar one. Uh, but this calculator here is the latest version. It's really good. The maintenance, so you can estimate the maintenance here. Whatever is yellow, you can enter information. Do not enter information anywhere unless it's yellow, okay? So let's say the maintenance fees are 68 cents a foot, so 0.68, and it automatically calculate my uh, maintenance. And let's say the municipal tax is 1%, so it'll calculate my taxes. And let's say my mortgage, which is uh, 25%, uh, 25 years, and 25-year amortization. And let's say I get a mortgage for 2.89%, and the condo calculator will calculate the amounts that you need. So the total monthly cost for the one bedroom is 23.64, and these are estimates, you know, but it'll give you a good idea of what you're working with. The uh, 550 a two bedroom is 28.89 to 2900, and the last one will need about just under 4,000 dollars, 39.39. That's what it comes to. So let's look at our cash flow analysis and our break-even analysis. See if it, any, anything makes sense here. Okay, so here you go, cash flow analysis. Okay. The break-even, as we know, these are the break-evens, which are the the break-even is we can see we we 
we look at the total monthly cost, the three elements, and that's what we call the break-even, okay? I'm not including any uh, upfront cash, closing cost, tenant wasn't there, anything like that. I'm just cash in cash, like very simple calculation here, okay? The cost per bedroom in the first one is just what it is because it's one bedroom. Uh, and the second is half because I divide this number, 2889 by 2, two bedrooms, so 1444. So in a roommate situation or a couple situation, two people can split the rent. It's easier for them. So, you know, it's maybe a lot harder for one person to pay 2364 a month, but it's a lot easier for two people to pay 1444. And the last one, uh, per room, you know, the, the cost per month is almost 4000 but per room is not much less. It's 1313 $1,300 uh, per room. And the rent PSF required is the same, $5.25. That's because we use the same PSF for all these units. So it, it evens out. Okay. Now, we're going to play with the rents achieved. This is yellow, you enter information. So how much do you think you can get for the 450 square feet, one bedroom? I say you can probably get about $2,150 for it. Okay. In today's numbers. Now, tomorrow it's going to be more, but let's look at today. So that means I'm losing you know, the difference between this number here, what I'm getting from the tenant, and what, my expen what I'm expending is $214 a month, and my annual cash flow, I'm losing minus 2500 a month, and it's, I'm losing 2.85% every year, at least on the first year. Now, this, of course, does not bring into, um, um, I'm not looking here at uh, capital gains, uh, like by appreciation, I'm looking at the money I'm putting back into the mortgage. I'm just looking at cash on cash, okay? So I'm losing about 200 bucks a month. Now look look at the two bedroom. The two bedroom here. If I can get thirty five hundred for it, okay. Can, you think you can get thirty five hundred for the? Let's say I can get three thousand for it, okay. So that means that each uh, roommate, each room will pay fifteen hundred. That's still very very reasonable in today's uh, world, and that means that I'm making one hundred eleven dollars a month or thirteen thirty four a year. So I'm just above breaking even, about hundred bucks a month over breaking even. Here I'm two hundred bucks below. What's happening with that? Three bedroom. I need to get 3900 for it. Can I get 1500 from each roommate? I don't know. Uh, let's, say, let's be conservative and say 4200 Okay, in this case, I'm still making a bit of money here. I'm making $261 a month, and my annual cash flow is 3000 a month, 3000 a year, 3128 And the total, my total ROI is 2%. So you can see that in this imaginary scenario, the three-bedroom is actually yielding me the highest returns and giving me the most amount of cash flow. Now, this is without, of course, taking the money that I'm putting back into the mortgage. So, so the mortgage, you know, there's two parts of the mortgage, and it's not shown here. The one part is, and it's that that is included in the mortgage that I'm, I'm paying. And if you want to see, it's right here, mortgage right here. So in these numbers here, uh, roughly about half or just over half goes to paying your capital expenses and roughly half or just under half goes to paying your interest to the bank. At the end of the mortgage, of course, this reverses and you're paying almost all into your capital and very little interest to the bank. The bank takes a lot of interest up front and as you pay more, you deem less risky, therefore they take less interest. Because also, if you were to sell your unit and not complete the 25-year mortgage, the bank's trying to make as much money as they can on you, so they charge as much as they can up front. So that's how it works. Okay? Um, so in this case, okay, in this case, and if you want to see the, the rent PSF, I still need here to achieve $5.525 a foot. And we know from condos.ca, now I think that site, uh, he said it was down earlier when I checked it. Uh, but yeah, no data available. So uh, part of the condos that say is down right now. But I can tell you that the average uh, rent a foot for the small condos these days is about four dollars a foot. You're achieving about four today. So that means that for four fifty you're going to achieve about eighteen hundred a month. Okay. For five fifty you achieve about say uh, twenty two, and for seven fifty times four you achieve about three thousand. So I was pretty generous here. But let's say let's say we bought it at Galleria or at any of these uh, no construction uh, condos like this one. I'm just picking on Galleria because it's right in front of me and it's uh, easy to see. And I think uh, this will be an amazing project. Uh, we're selling building number two now. So if you want to invest in this project, I think this project actually makes a lot of sense because this is going to be master plan community in a very good location um, that I personally really like. And obviously a lot of people like it. There's 300 views here already and that's just one Galleria video. Uh, so I'm going to go back here. I'm going to be a little bit more optimistic about my rents, okay? So I'm going to be more optimistic about this rent. I'll say I get 2400 for the one bedroom because it's going to take about three years, you know, so maybe I can do that. And uh, I'll, let's say I'll get 3200 for the two bedroom. That's 1600 each. That's not that bad. I mean, that's a lot for one person, but let's say I got a really nice unit. 
and let's say I got 1500 each from the uh, three bedroom. So now what happens? Now I'm more or less breaking even on the one bedroom. So the one bedroom, you can see it's breaking even at a very high rent. Okay, 2400 So I'm actually getting about $5 a foot here. And I'm more or less breaking even. Okay, 36 bucks a month I'm making. Uh, here, 3200 So that's what I'm going to achieve. That's what I'm making. 3200 a month. And you're looking at $311 profit every month. 37 34 profit a year. So now I'm looking 3.39%. You know, anything 3 4% on resale on existing uh, real estate, that's kind of global average. So that's reasonable, okay? And this unit, I need to break even 4000 a month on it. And if I get 4500 uh, $4, you know, I'm making just over $500 a month, 561 in this case. So I'm making a bit more money here, 6700 a year, plus everything I'm putting back into my mortgage. So that's, that's pretty good. That's getting more reasonable. So you can see how... The efficient three bedrooms, small three bedrooms at lower dollar a foot are scoring very, very well. Now, what would have happened if I could score this at $900 a foot? Okay, and this one, real life situation, this will be $1,100 a foot, and this one will be $900 a foot, and I'm gonna leave the middle one at $1,000 a foot. Okay, so let's look at that. So I'm gonna bring up a calculator. And by the way, guys, uh, if you have any questions, just the best way to reach me for these kind of questions is in the comments for that video, because then I can answer directly in the video. Um, I don't really answer to social media. It's just too much. I just use it to post stuff. But if you want my attention, the best thing to do it is right here on the video. But if you are customers looking to buy, sell, invest, or just have a question, you want evaluation, then definitely uh, give me a call through the office or use one of the uh, home valuation forums, and you can see it right here. Uh, home valuation uh, if you want me to evaluate your uh, your property or a listing alert if you want to know what's going on and you want to keep a tab on a certain area or address of the whole city you can just do it right here okay these are the links and that's the file you get from me okay great now so we said we're going to make this into 1100 foot so calculator so 450 times 1100 that's condo math that's 495,000 okay so that makes sense so yellow, I put information, 495,000, and I get 1100 of course. So now my uh, deposit price is 99000 each deposit just under 25 times 4. My mortgage is uh, $396,000 to $400,000 mortgage. And at this rate, the condo fees and the maintenance are the same, but the mortgage went up a bit to 1851 and my break-even point went up by, by a little bit. Um, so even with the 2400 I'm still losing a bit of money. If I was making the 2150 then I, I'm starting to lose some serious money here. I'm losing 400 bucks a month. I'm losing 5% a year. Okay, that's becoming a little iffy. Why, why, so why are people are buying these type of units? Because they believe that the value will be higher. And they say, you know what? Uh, either they're not using the condo calculator, they're not making these numbers to themselves, or they're basically saying, just ignoring it and say, it's just going to be worth more. Kind of a typical Hong Kong situation until recently. It's just going to be worth more. It's just going to be worth more. It's just going to be worth more. And would it be worth more? It typically, it does. I mean, the economy is really, really crazy these days. <laughs> so, you know, uh, hard to tell. But you can see that the, the 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 market's actually doing quite well. If you look at the at the news today, like the market's doing well. The 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 numbers are doing well. The market's doing well. It's coming up nice. Okay, uh, here we said we're not going to make any change. We're going to leave it at a thousand a foot. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Um, 3200, 1600, okay, we'll just leave that. And here I'm gonna give myself a discount and we're only gonna pay $900 a foot, but this is the reverse, so I'm gonna go calculator again, and I'm gonna go $900 a foot times 750 square feet, so that gives me a purchase price of 675. 675, copy that, okay, 675, paste it here. Now I got 900 foot, my, uh, my payments have uh, gone down considerably here. Okay, the mortgage is down by 60,000. So the mortgage payments are 2,500. And the total, my break even point is now $3,600, 3596 So now I'm actually making crazy money here. I'm finally starting to make some real money. If I can actually achieve the 4,500, I'm making $900 a foot, $900 a month, almost 1,000. I'm making almost $11,000. Uh, a year on cash flow. That is good. I like that. So you can see the more rooms I have, you know, I'm getting into a room situation here, but the more rooms I have, the better I do. 
the better I do because the dollar per foot is lower. If I can squeeze more rooms in an efficient unit, it starts to make a lot of sense. That's why you see at uh, Nordic, for example, three bedroom units. Okay, so here's what I mean. Uh, when you go to Nordic, and I, I did a huge review of Nordic, um, this, that's the two bedroom here. So those are really good. Uh, they're selling real quick. And they have all these kinds of two bedrooms, but they also have uh, three bedroom units. Let me scroll through here. And these three bedroom units, you know, if that's a two plus ten. That's a bit small for a bed, but there are some three bedroom units that you could use and maybe make some decent. Uh, here's a three bedroom corner unit. Okay, so that's pretty nice. Uh, so it's got the ensuite here, there's a bath here, nice three bedrooms, a little commonplace. Okay, so that could be a really good rental. That could be a really good rental. Uh, you can download the calculator yourself. There's another three. So you can download that calculator yourself, or you can just ask me to do the numbers for you. I'll be happy to do it. Okay, it's all good. Um, you can even post in the comments, but if you want it privately, just contact me privately. Uh, here's my contact information right here. Okay, so uh, which is better, 450, 550, 750? Well, first of all, it depends on how many bedrooms you got there. Second, it depends on how much you paid for it or how, how many dollars per foot you paid for it. Obviously, the larger unit with more bedrooms, but still tight, not a thousand square feet, because a thousand square feet would have brought the price here to 900. That's going to be completely unattainable. I'll show you in a second. Um, that makes a lot of sense. Now, if you paid if you paid a thousand dollar foot, or say le for this unit, we go back to the 750. Okay, then I drop I, I drop by about four thousand a year. So I want to get this unit. I want to get this unit for less. If I can get more bedrooms, tidy unit for less, I'm doing really good. See what I'm saying? That's the analysis here. So you can go to uh, contentcalculator.ca. You can download this thing and play with yourself. Uh, there's no online version yet. You just have to download it and just open it on your own computer or upload it to uh, Google Sheets like I got it here. Okay, so that's really good. Uh, a few more things and then I'm done for today. Um, Galleria is still going. There's gonna have they're gonna be eight residential buildings in total. Um, I think it's one of the more most interesting projects in town, and probably could be one of the most profitable projects in town because the price is quite reasonable here. They're quite reasonable, and because they're building an entire community, I think this will be a very sought, highly the phrase is highly sought after development, and that's what you're looking here. Okay. Um, otherwise, if you're looking for ideas, what you can do, you can go to uh, urbanrealtytrauma.com. Let me open it for you. And that's my main blog where you're going to get a lot of information about investing, about condos, about deals, the newsletter here. If you sign to any of my newsletters, you get a lot of information. If you're not signed, you're not going to get it because I don't have a way to send it to you. Uh, the other one I got going is torontocondosforsale.com. And this site here has all the resales, but also it has all the pre-construction. Just click this floating button here. That's why I put it right in the front. Uh, and you get lots and lots and lots of condos here. You can choose from, you can register anything you like right here. And once you register, I'll send you the information for it. And I give you information. The basic is here. And to get early access, to get more information, just register here. Okay. Um, you can also do lots of searches here. Find Dream Home, Price.Alert, Chest Listed, all these things right here. Okay. So you can find whatever was listed, price drop, whatever you like. It's right here. This is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Lucid Agent Mortgage Broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Please go ahead, download the Condo Calculator, use it. It's an amazing tool. Play with it. You know, if you go into a VIP sale, if you got the numbers, you can run it or you can call me and say, hey, what do you think about it? If uh, this is too much for you, just uh, give me a shout and I'll just do it for you and I'll save it as a PDF and send you the, send you the file so you can compare yourself. Thank you very much. That's it.